Take My Death Away is now premiering at the Angelus Theater, featuring a full cast. Tonight's preview will be performed by the Gashler family. Our story begins at the turn of the 20th century in rural America, where an engaged couple, David and Sadie, face tragedy when David suddenly dies of the dreaded cholera. As David's spirit lingers in the graveyard with other spirits, one Dr. Isaac has his eyes on a suddenly available Sadie.
Night after night, as the autumn leaves fall and the wind howls, a sleepless Sadie gazes out her window, torn between the memory of David and the advances of Dr. Isaac. Is that David's shadow she sees in the distance? Could she be hearing the sound of his violin? charm and reason, Dr. Isaac tries to persuade Sadie to move on with him, but Sadie is far too preoccupied with death. Every moment time is ticking, going by and by. Every moment falling and tripping, hit your head and die. There's hope ahead and 
Past. Even wounded hearts still are hurting Can find relief at last But if I open up to another What will be his fate? If I were you, I'd take off a running Before it grows too late Meanwhile, on the other side, David explores his unhappy world of restless spirits. friend Eve, a lingering spirit from the 18th century, undertake the ultimate quest to reverse death. Ever since her passing in the Revolutionary War, Eve has tried to unlock the secrets of life, attempting to use her ghostly influence to reanimate bodies. But every experiment has failed. That is, until David showed up. With David's fresh body and an iron will, together they've succeeded at getting David halfway back to Sadie. But as soon as the sun rises, the power dissipates and his body collapses. When some other spirits discover what David and Eve are up to, they warn him with the legend of Old Daniel, a cautionary tale for wandering spirits, who, if not careful, may end up trapped between worlds. Old Daniel Baines was a tireless soul Killed in his sleep Revenge was his goal Spent his afterlife Dreaming of an attack Until he discovered 
heard a way to come back. He entered his body a mere sack of bones. And struggled to walk to his murderer's home. The door was unlocked and pushed with a grin. Searching the hallways and bedrooms within. A life for a life. He pulled out his knife. Daniel took to ride up the stairs up to where he did his terrible deed. Growing off the sheets, Dan searched for a stain. But the bed was empty, his thrust was in vain. He returned to the grave Corrupted in body, corrupted in soul Driven with hatred beyond control At last he found his murderer's bed Lying peacefully underneath the flowered wreath The man was already dead He would wait, by night he would rise His lust for blood as cold as his breath Brought many others to their deaths For needing to kill, his craving to fill The demon of the night, the harbinger of fright Lost in the shadows, wished for the gallows Daniel, no fate will try, try and try but never die Rest, oh never in David isn't frightened by the warnings of the other spirits. He tries to persuade Eve to come back with him. Eve, whose body decayed long ago, insists that it's too late for her. She wonders if she and David shouldn't abandon this reckless pursuit and move on together to the great beyond. But David will not give up. He must return to Sadie before Dr. Isaac takes her first. I know she's your And your breath Hold on to my robe You must conquer death You've helped me believe There is more than sorrow and pain Look at what we've achieved a new life waiting for me, waiting for you. A curtain is falling, a destiny calling, a glorious view. There are no ends, you've proved there's always a way. A burning within you, a fight to continue, a conquered grace. Powerful touch surely comes at a cost. You've given so much, must your soul be lost? Waiting for you far from this place 
my plea now, forget about me, you must run your race. My work is here, we could argue this all day. But no sense in stalling, for duty is calling, we'll find a way. Why must you stay? There's more to do, thoughts to pursue. Doesn't it feel strange and surreal? What will I do, parted from you? There's a new life waiting for you, far from this cave. How could I forget when I'm deep in your debt for my life you've saved? without you it's just not right go to the life waiting for me waiting for you a curtain is falling a destiny calling a glorious view there are no ends you prove there's always a way a burning within you a fight to continue a conquered Everyone, both mortals and spirits, the pious and the devilish, are getting ready for All Hallows' Eve, the night of the year when the veil is the thinnest. Meanwhile, rumors about David and Eve's mission have spread, and now all the spirits want to go back. Oh, won't you save us from this unending torment? Meant to feel the open air. I owe you nothing. Each soul is precious, don't you even care? It's not to be. How can you leave us? Won't you hear our plea? Show us the way. A silver moon is gazing down through the branches Stop the witches I hear the demon sneaking out for the prowl Save the children We feel the presence of an unholy throng Our foes are many but we gotta be help, David has re-entered his body, combed his hair, and brushed off the bugs. Still, he looks, feels, and smells like death. How is he possibly going to win back Sadie like this? Luckily, a spiritual medium, Dr. Kristoff, comes to David's aid, though at what price is the question. My temperature's dropping, my pulse slowing down, my elbows are creaking, my eyes are glazing over, and I'm trying to please both. Breaking, I just need more time. Oh, Eve, did 
I hurt you, I know this is hard Don't mean to desert you But I just don't belong within your world of shadows I'm meant for the light When Sadie is calling How can I throw my dream away And stifle my heart Torture my heart Sadie, tell me Why do you run away When I've tried so hard To leave the graveyard I know I'm smashed a little death compared to all eternity I know it's a bit untraditional but you and I can work it out and keep the fire burning A wearier traveler I never have seen A oh, friend won't you tell me How can I lift your spirit I'm Professor J. Kristoff The master of your ailments can surely be taught My problems are bigger than tricks of the mind Your physical symptoms merely are extensions of the fallacy spinning in circles within Give me your mind and I'll fix you from the inside till there's nothing to fear Doctor is near You could never understand the pain I'm going through You're trapped between worlds To the astonishment of all, especially Sadie, a living and revitalized David makes his return at the All Hallows' Eve social. Meanwhile, a forsaken Dr. Isaac and Eve are left to stand by and wonder what to do with themselves. Please forgive the dinosaurs and senseless violence towards snowmen. It's a music video. It's not supposed to make sense. Please don't.
spiritual mesmerizer, Dr. Kristoff, has his eyes on Eve. Seeing her alone and vulnerable, he tries to persuade her to use her ghostly influence to take the life of Sadie and possess her body. Then Sadie's happiness could be Eve's. Meanwhile, David, Isaac, and Sadie question whether or not this incredible evening is nothing more than a dream. And you will find the hope that you seek I have answers for the pain you feel Come to me and you will be living and real Is this but a delusion? Can you help me find peace? How I'm filled with confusion Will my suffering cease? Are you but an illusion? Are you real as you seem? Can we have second chances? Will we wake from this dream? Orange and violet Darkness and light, shadowy figures dance through the night on how those evil worlds collide, staining you through the other side. Hope and anguish, grief and ecstasy. Wanting to believe in you that there's more for me. One small squeeze and pain will disappear. Come to me. I trust in this lie There is no explanation Can we come back when we die? Are you but an illusion? Are you real as you seem? Can we have second chances? Will we wake from this dream? and violet, darkness and light, shadowy figures dance through the night, on how those evil worlds collide, staining you through the other side. refuses to give in to the temptation of Dr. Kristoff. But Kristoff, who's on a mission to obtain a soul for his master, the Prince of Darkness, isn't about to give up. Through trickery, Kristoff arranges an accident that results in the demise of David. If David dies, his indebted soul belongs to Kristoff. That is, unless Kristoff will accept a substitution from Eve, a gifted and valuable soul indeed. Story ended fast, a tragedy indeed. It wasn't meant to last, and now we must proceed. You're grasping onto life, but there's no hope for you. The bullet's wound is deep, there's nothing left to do. 
So let your spirit go, escape your suffering Why bother fighting and denying obvious reality? Plan for my demise, you knew that all along Why wait another hour, there's no good reason to prolong Make a tempting deal, you are a worthy trade. If you give him his life back, I'll forever be your slave. Nothing less, nothing more, give to me your hand. He will stay, I will go, I'll follow your command. Down we go, down we go, this way where my master waits. He'll get your blind submission and I'll get a great commission. Deceived as was I Now I'm at my end Where the remnants of time might reflect The chill of the moonlight in soft retrospect you can listen, the veil is so thin You'll hear desperation from spirits within Our spirits are broken, our bodies are dust The cruel separation was harsh and unjust Hope is unheard of and dreams do no good We bend to the light if we only Follow down this path What's passing over here There's no returning back You good for nothing lie You fail to keep the deal I refuse to go with you Your promise cannot be repealed I will but you'll have to fight If you must insist I let him live one minute more Our contract still persists Down we go, down we go This way where my master waits He'll get your blind submission And I'll get a great commission Will tragedy be the ends of Eve, David, Sadie, and Isaac? Or will goodness prevail? Come see the play to find out. <laughs>
and the main thing that he wants is to be able to court a lovely young Sadie. The main obstacle that he faces is Sadie's reluctance to move on from David. I play Eve. She's the oldest ghost in the graveyard. She wants to uncover the mystery of life. Pat just wants to roam around the cemetery for all the time to be she wants. <laughs> and you would think that once you get to the other side, it's all clear. But even for the ghosts, there's still this vast frontier of the unknown, the great beyond, they call it. And a lot of them are terrified, and that's why they're ghosts, because they're not ready to move on, because they don't know what's out there. My favorite theme is how much love can heal. Things work out, but they don't always look like you think that they would. And everybody has their different things they're dealing with, but the way, the way they all intertwine and culminate at the end is powerful. Sometimes we look too much at the past, and we think that those things in the past were still needing to make us happy, instead of seeing what's in our present right now, seeing what's right in front of us that can actually make us even maybe more happy than what we thought. Like a month before it opens, we've sold a ton of tickets. This one might actually sell out. I think people should see this play because it's fun. We're having a great time doing it, and I think that you guys are going to have a great time watching it. The cast is so passionate. Uh, every character just brings so much energy. People should see the play because it offers entertainment and it is also thought-provoking at the same time. There's a lot of great moments in it. There's some pretty funny humorous parts and there's some pretty dramatic parts. And I think it does well being able to combine all of them. We are doing a virtual option. We've had so many people who've been excited to have us do that because they need to stay home and they're higher risk and they really want theater in their lives but they just cannot go to a live theater right now. And it allows us to put our play out um, to anywhere in the world where you can get a YouTube link from us. Come see the show. Oh, by all means. We're hysterical. Oh my goodness. We you are so funny. will you don't forget about everybody out. else. It's us. It's us. It's just a really enchanting Halloween store. You've got the spooks. You've got the All Hallows Eve dance. You've got romance. It's unique. It's nothing like I've ever seen before or heard or been a part of and for me it's been life-changing. <laughs>